All right, Shalom Mikeum. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that's teaching this word now true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want Titus listen. He shall redeem thee from death. And that's concerning our Lord Yahweh Shai. He is going to be the one, the reason for our preservation, our deliverance. You know, the heaven follows through his right hand, which is Yahweh Shai. It's going to be the reason why we're saved from, you know, beginning with uh, delivered from the mind. And that's why the Lord has given us this truth. And it's going to even build up to when all hell break loose you know being kept from these different matter of fact let's start off with that in the book of Revelation the third chapter because we coming upon that hour of temptation and there's nothing corner we can do you know our help is going to have to come from on high you know it's going to have to be divine uh, intervention and guess who's gonna, uh, you know, be on the scene when it come down to deliverance? Yahweh Shah, you know, he's gonna be the one that's uh, the cause of the salvation, man. So let's get this the book of Revelation, the third chapter, verse ten. It said, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, see." I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So it shows how vital this word is. Because this is going to lead to us being kept, us being preserved. And it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So the Lord is telling us he's going to be the reason why we're being kept. Because we kept the word of his patience. And the results of that, keeping the word, okay, uh, keeping the commandments, the law, which is the scriptures as, as a whole, is the Lord keeping us, man. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And that's the time that we're coming in. You know, that hour of temptation. You know, Jacob's trouble. We enter upon the time where that mandate is about to take place. And we can actually go into the records concerning a mandate. Let's get that in the book of Daniel 3rd. Just jump around on it. But the scripture says, matter of fact, before I get that, let's get this in the book of Romans, the 15th chapter. <clears throat> Romans chapter 15 and verse 4, it reads, For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope so as you can see concerning the thing that was written aforetime was for us to consider in this time man. when you read the sort of uh, Daniel and the lines then read about the different uh, apostles and how they was locked up you know, even going to now, Daniel the third chapter concerning the three holy children, we can go into the records and see the situation they went through and as well as going to read the latter end of it. And they was all delivered, man. They was all kept. You know why? Because they believed and trusted in Yahweh by Shemal Shah. And they know that was the only way to get out was through Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know? So, um, I, like I said, I'm just going to jump around. Um, I just start at three and then I just go from now. This dang it, third chapter, third verse is it. Then the princes, the governors and captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And that's what we're seeing today. This digital system 
you know, that image. In this case, it was back then was a, 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 a actual image that you had to, when you heard the sound, you had to actually bow down. But this image is by the way of this system, man. You know, and we seeing these conglomerates of nations being on one accord concerning this system being put together. It said, then and Harold cried aloud to you, it is commanded. See, O people, nations and languages. So this is a decree. It says that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sap, but psaltery, dorsomer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship that golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king was set up. And whoso follow not down and worship him shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. See? So as you can see, that um, there was a decree made. And uh, if you didn't follow it, uh, you know, and take heed to it or bow down to the image, also you'd be put to death. And that's what we had today. You know, this devil um, was just going to be a build up to you being put to death, you know, because um, it begins with this man uh, trying to, you know, rub you out this system, put you, you know, you being off the grid. You know, but ultimately it's going to, you know, this man actually got guillotines. You know, the, uh, the firing squad, you know, it's even a term called summary execution. So let's show you what we had in this process concerning prophecy, man. That a, you know, was the, you know, these things happened back then, but we see in the nine this perfection, man. The image of the beast, you know, this devil, these draconian laws. See, the Lord set it up to where we we ain't got no choice but to lean upon your house shy, man. You know, we don't have no choice but to believe and trust in the Holy One of Israel, man. Because how else are we gonna get out of this? You know what I mean? So, um, let me jump down real quick. So let's go on into the three holy church and they didn't fall down. They didn't bow down. And they was, it tells that they were accused. They was accused. So let's see. Um, I started. I started at 14. I started at 13. Says, then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. And a tell you, going to be, be brought before governors and kings. And it said, in his rage, <laughs> it says, Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto him, Is it true? O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do you not serve my gods? No worship the golden image would I have set up? Now, if you be ready, that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sap, but sautery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if you worship not, ye shall be cast into the same hour into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And who is that power that should deliver you out of my hands? See? So as you can see, this uh, it was an ultimatum. Pretty much, whether you um, bow down or die, and that's is what this devil have presented in this time. It really, is your how about your mouth shot? You know, the Lord has said other way. You're gonna you're gonna choose life or death. It was uh, life is your how shot, and death is Esau, man. You know, And then, as you can see, how Nebuchadnezzar pointed out, who is that power that should deliver you out of my hand? Because ultimately, that's what it's going to have to take. It's going to have to take a high power for us to be delivered out of the hands of Esau, man. And we know who's going to do that. Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the right and powerful arm of the Most High, man. It talks about that Ezra. Who shall wars me, wars me? Who shall deliver me in those days? Yahweh Shai, man. You know? He's the deliverer. That's what he's he's gonna do. 
and, and like I say, even this is part of this is part of the deliverance the Lord giving us this word. Matter of fact, let's get some real quick. Just uh, Isaiah ten and twenty it reads, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, see, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. See, so this is even part of the, this, uh, uh, the deliverance. The remnant, those that have escaped where it began with us um, being free in our minds, man. That's why I said we're going to stay upon the Holy One of Israel in truth. See, this is the beginning stage to their deliverance, but it's only going to grow and build up to the salvation of our Lord when he physically manifests and pluck us up from this place. It says, the remnant shall return. See, this show you this, the elect, even the remnant of Jacob until the mighty power. Which that's one of the titles for our Lord. Yeah, I was shouting when you read the previous chapter, you know, Isaiah 9 and verse 6. You know, but this is, that's part of, this is part of the deliverance because it took a miracle for snap out of Christmas and shit and Easter and birthday parties you know but it that it, that, that miracle is going to ramp up by the way of us being delivered from these said powers man you know so it says uh, it's going back it said who is that power that's do out of my hands so verse 16 it reads Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said unto the king O Nebuchadnezzar we are not careful to answer thee in this matter and then show you the sureness and the confidence in Yahweh by Shemel Shai these men man it said if it be so our power whom we serve is not able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thy hand O king see but if not be it known unto thee, O king, that we would not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. See? Then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fury, in the form of his visage, was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one time, one seven times more than it won't be heated. And guess what? This devil is going to come down in this same fashion concerning the elect, those that have the testimony of our shot. It's going to be, it's a game plan to gather niggas from the projects. But it's that game plan is different. And, and, and for this man to try to gather the, try to uh, get the elect, you know, throwing a concentration council, uh, put it in the delf. You might have a robot come to your house instead of the National Guard. You know, so that one sound time more, so it was a certain way. You know what I mean, Nebuchadnezzar came out these men than the usual people that will, will rebel. You know, that's why I tell you that this devil was, he made war with the remnant of her seed. Those that have the test, you know, keep the commandments on the most and have the testimony of your house shot. You know? It says, and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to, to bind Shad, Jack, Misha, and Abednego and to cast them in into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. It says, These men were bound in their coats, their holes, and in their hats, and their garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of a fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So to show you how intense this fire was, to where even the men that bound them up and threw them in the fire, they got burned up. So you would think it's a given, just seeing it, uh, you know, you would think, okay, well, if they die, you know, uh, the three, they, the, the three holy children that was cast in the front, they had to die, you know? It says, then, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, is, the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, did not we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? They answered and said to the king, true, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of the Most High. See? 
That's that power who's going to deliver us from that furnace. But today is here in America, man. It just ain't on fire yet. But that power is our Lord Yahweh. He's the one that's going to deliver us. As we just read um, in Romans the 15th chapter, you know, concerning the thing that was written four times in different records. Because ultimately, the Lord's, these things, those shows that it shows as well that even though these records are recorded, it actually happened, took place on the earth. It was a prophetic. It was prophetic. You know, it was it had a prophetic overtone. That's why I say is um through patience and comfort of scripture, we might have hope. And you know, hope is something that's dealing with future tense, you know. So who 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 is that power our Lord Yahweh Shah is gonna deliver us, man? He is gonna redeem us. He is the one that's gonna keep us from our temptation. Not Buddha, not Allah, not your scrap. You know, it's gonna be the right hand of the most high which is our Lord Yahweh Shah. So matter of fact, uh -huh, let's get this in the book of Job. Job five. <clears throat> and um I start at 18. It reads, For he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth, and his hands make whole. See? And the hand of the Most High is our Lord Yahweh Shot, man. You know? It says, He shall deliver thee in six trouble. See that the word deliver. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. See? So that's concerning the. the when all hell break loose all the way up to the seventh trump, when that destruction takes place, we're going to have to actually be out of here 